What's going on, Doombots? Tony Scangili here with a orb opening video for Disney Sorcerer's Arena. Now, if you don't know about this game, you haven't seen my other videos, and that's your fault, so get on it. Anyway, I'm going to start here. I've been saving up cores that I've been getting. Sorry, gems, bad habit. Saving up gems I've been getting from doing the random tap joy missions to make sure that I can get a free attempt at opening these. And I just want to get an idea about whether or not this 5x ultimate chest is uh, worth it. Now, obviously, you know you get something out of it, so that's could be good enough. And if you check really quickly what the value of these independent chests are, you'll see that uh, you have a very high chance of getting 10 to 14 shards of some characters, and then a little bit of a lower chance to get higher impact characters, all the way down to a uh, almost non-existent chance of getting 90 to 100 shards of any character in this. Now. That's a very low drop rate, so this is the number we look at. We are not pulling 90 to 100 shards out of anybody here unless we're lucky. We're not lucky. We're just going to see overall what we get out of this, and let's take a quick look. So, here's the button. We're going to press it. <clears throat> We're going to confirm. Let's see what five orbs looks like. <clears throat> One. Eleven hopper shards. Eleven shards is about three percent of what it takes to max out a character. <clears throat> so we're in a pretty good spot there. Next, thirteen Ariel shards. Within the range of the highest drop rate of the characters, pretty par for the course. Twelve Gaston. At this point, early enough in the game, any shards are important. I haven't really made any huge dents in characters I was working on. We'll keep going. 12 Big Bad Wolf shards. Again, another character with a very high drop rate uh, on the list. So I'm pulling what the orbs are telling me I'm supposed to be pulling. Let's see if this one uh, breaks open. Let's see. <clears throat> And 14 Tinkerbell. I believe she is a slightly lower drop rate. Uh, I believe she's part of the 1% drop rate, I'll confirm. But it was enough to bring her up. So this is 3,200 uh, uh, gems, uh, five com the 5x pack. And this is more or less what you should expect. So before you buy them, just keep in mind, this is the most likely styled outcome. One pretty decent uh, chance and then between 10 and 14 of the ran of the random other characters. Um, do I think it's worth it? Well, it depends on how much you evaluate your gems at and how free how many you're getting them. Ultimately, I still think farming characters and saving your gems for farming is most important. But if you got it, spend it. You can do a little bit worse than uh, I did, especially in the early game when all you need to do is unlock more characters and really experience the game. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Have a good night. Have a great day. I've been Tony Scangili, and I'll catch you later.